Hello everybody and welcome to my very first video on my channel. I'm going to be reviewing Once Upon a Time in Hollywood with Ike. Uh, Ike, what did you think of this movie? Well, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Probably my second favorite Tarantino film. What about you? I'm going to say third. I know you're very fond of The Hateful Eight. It, it, it's a great movie. Which I will be watching tonight. I haven't seen it. I know. I'm, it's a shame, but you know, I just watched Jackie Brown last night. You and. Uh, yeah, what, Jackie Brown wasn't really that good. Uh, but um, what was your favorite scene in this movie? Was it uh, Don't Cry in Front of the Mexicans? Was it Cliff Booth beating the crap out of the Manson family? Uh, I'd say uh, Don't Cry in Front of the Mexicans or uh, Rick Dalton going out and yelling, uh, looking at you, Ginger. It was a great scene. Well... Uh, best character, uh, probably Cliff Booth. Cliff Booth was great. Cliff uh, Booth. See, here's the thing. Tarantino said that it wasn't even about Cliff Booth. It was about Rick Dalton, but it was mostly about Cliff Booth. We'll, we'll like, see, like, a lot of the good scenes were had Cliff Booth in it. Yeah, well, like, The Walking Dead's main star was Rick Grimes, but Daryl stole the whole show. And then, yeah, I know, I know you don't watch that. But, I don't. Yeah, like, well, let's see, uh. Happy Hogan steals the show. Oh, on, yes. In, in the the unit. Now, uh, we're going to have an ongoing segment, maybe, Unit of the Week. And this week, week is... Unit uh, of the Week is great. This week is uh, Happy Hogan. Happy Hogan will probably be right here. John Favreau. Oh, yes. He, right here is our Unit of the Week, um, John Favreau. Uh, he did make The Lion King. That's quite disappointing. And uh, a movie called Chef, where he's just a chef cooking with his family. It's a Netflix show now. We're just a Sharon Tate story. Sharon Tate, they did enough with her. I don't think she needed more dialogue or anything. She, I think it was fine. The, the whole thing, I, and I'm going to go ahead and jump into this. The reason I feel like people didn't like this movie is because they really didn't understand the whole, the whole premise of it. It wasn't about the Manson family. It was about Rick Dalton and Cliff Booth. And the reason people didn't like it, I believe as well is because they didn't understand that Sharon Tate was horrifically murdered by the Manson family and for per, personally for me the whole movie it was building up to that at the end I was excited to see what was going to happen to see if Tarantino would rewrite history again to see if he would which shock he, everybody which, and which she would did. die huh he did rewrite history yeah oh he's he, he he's infamous for that you know killing Hitler and such and uh, burning Hitler down in the movie theater. Great, that's a great movie. If, you, if you've never seen Inglorious Bastards, I, I still need to finish it. I recommend it. Yeah. It's great. Two things that everyone was not were not huge fans of were um, Black Manson and uh, yeah. uh, Bruce Lee. Ooh, Let's see. Touch subject. Here's the thing. I don't really have a say in that, but. I think it was fine. It's hilarious. It was funny. I don't think Cliff Booth should have threw him into like a car. Mm -hmm. I think he should have like shown a little more fight. Maybe. I mean, it was Bruce Lee. People considered him like. Well, Bruce Lee wouldn't start a fight randomly. He'd just, you know, he'd be like, oh, "We don't need to do this." Right. Yeah. Pro well, he'd defend himself, but he wouldn't just start a fight in some movie lot with some random white dude. <laughs> That's true. I mean, you got a point there. Uh, what do you think about Cliff Booth killing his wife? Cliff Booth killing his wife? That was funny uh, to me. I think I would have liked to see more of that. I'd like to see a whole movie about that. <laughs> I, want a, I want a Cliff Booth, entire movie about Cliff Booth and when he gets out of the hospital. Cliff Booth versus Manson? All that. Cliff Booth is Manson. Plot twist at the end there. Why Cliff Booth Manson? <laughs> um... So the original cut of this movie was uh, four hours reportedly four and a half hours long. Uh, I would uh, pay some good money to see that. Uh, see the I paid I paid thirteen dollars to see the two and a half hour version, and um, pay more to see. But I'd uh, pay a more. good I pay a good uh, twenty dollars to see that four hour. Yeah, see, um, Kate Philippe oh, has an extended cut of about does. four hours long. All right, well, uh, that about uh, wraps it up for our discussion on Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Out of um, 10, what would you give it? Out of 10, I give it 10 out of 10. It's 
top three all time movies for me. I'm gonna give it like a nine point nine. Yeah. Almost a ten. Where does this rank in your movies of all time? What number? My top fifteen. I'm probably ten or eleven. I'd say it goes Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is two and then Pulp Fiction. Wolf Wall Street's Wolf Wall Street's probably number three. Number three. Number one Pulp Fiction. Number two Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Number three. Uh, Wolf Wall Street, and then probably throw the Wizard of Oz in there. Big, Big Lebowski number one for me. Oh, Big Lebowski, yeah, yes. Yeah, Dazed and Confused. Too. Well, that just about wraps it up. Anything, anything we missed in the movie? If you can think of anything real quick. How do you feel about the devil's business? Oh, yes. Uh, some, some dumber than that was. Uh, that was a great some scene. Some dumber than that, but. What do you think about the? Well, here's the thing about that scene. Might as well jump into this. I thought that, like, the alcohol and then, like, him smoking that cigarette would make it, like, harder for them to fight back, but it really didn't. I was kind of happy about that, to be honest. All right, thank you guys for watching. Uh, see you later.